what's up y'all welcome back to another video i did this real cute fire pink spooky set um i couldn't wait to show y'all how i did this it was so much fun and it came out so cute so just keep on watching but first i just wanted to show you guys some new nail mail that i received um i bought some new little nail art um stamps and things from mccart um these are just some flower foils that i purchased that i'll be using for like maybe a vintage set these are some um nail decals butterfly shapes and they're like um iridescent i guess that's the word um like they change colors when you move them really cute i can't wait to use them um i also got some halloween um some Halloween pieces for encapsulation which I will be using in this video and I also purchased some really cute rings for my videos and my final result pictures the video so first thing I'm doing is just removing the shine um, and oils from my natural nails my nails have already been um, cleaned cuticles pushed back removed all that good jazz also want to apologize if this video is a little too long I tried to shorten it as much as I could but I wanted y'all to see all the good and juicy parts Okay. to my desired length i wanted them pretty long this time um not like super long but kind of long because i wanted this set to be really cute because it was pink and the girls love pink um so yeah straight edge clipper just to remove the um, side walls from my nail tips these straight edge nail clippers will also be listed in my description box through my Amazon list
now I'm going in with my sandy band to blend in the nail tips with my natural nail. I also use my sanding band to um, help me like pre-shape the nail tips so that I don't have to do much work when it's time to go in with my hand file. So now I'm going in with my 100 100 grit nail file to shape the side walls um, and the free edge just very lightly um, to get a crisp shape before it's time for um, acrylic application. process of course I'm using nail house um, I'm using the color bubblegum um, such a cute pink nail house is so buttery and so awesome to work with gives you ample time highly suggest this for um, nail tech beginners like 10 out of 10 um, so yeah I guess I'll come back on when it's time for the next step 
to get the, the nail art to stick to the nail, I did use a small bead of clear acrylic just to get the um, stickers up there. And then I also encapsulated the entire nail in clear to make sure that um, my stickers wouldn't move and they wouldn't be filed off in the process of me reshaping and things like that. Just um, a tip for my new nail tech beginners. Um, so I'm trying to ace the three B method. The first bead I'm using to um, cover the entire nail tip. That's my biggest bead. Um, my medium bead is going to be my second bead, and that is going to go right on top of the first one. Um, and that's going to build my apex. The third bead is going to be to seal the cuticle area. That's going to be the smallest end probably most dry speed but that's going to seal um, the cuticle area and finish the nail up.
hand file um, to reshape the nails, um, reshaping the top of the nails as well as both side walls and the free edge. because I feel like I spend a lot of time trying to make sure it's not crooked and it's really crisp and real straight. So now instead of doing it after shaping the sidewalls, I'll do it like at the very end. And now I'm just using my five in one drill bit to seal my cuticles and make sure everything is the same shape and on the same level and all crisp and all that good jazz. just to smoothen the nails some nail techs don't buff their nails anymore I personally still enjoy the buff um, I also feel like it gives me a more smooth canvas to work on when it's time for me to do my designs now I'm starting my design process um, I wanted to show you guys more of the design me doing the design but um i didn't want the video to be so long also my head kept getting in the way as you can see so it was a lot of clips of just looking at my scarf which was terrible but um i tried to get as much like good details as possible for y'all so i really hope um y'all did like this set y'all enjoyed watching me do this spooky set i really did have a lot of fun with the encapsulations and the designs and stuff like I think um, these next few months with the holidays coming up are going to be real fun nails. I can't wait to continue to keep on posting and showing y'all like my journey and all the stuff that I want to try, all the new like creations that are in my head. So yeah, I'm going to stop talking so much. <laughs> So 
about to be the end of the video um and this is how the set came out um really really cute i hope y'all enjoyed this set follow me on instagram to see this set and all the other sets that i've posted um and yeah don't forget to like comment subscribe i love y'all so much stay blessed and until next time 